It's been another foul day for Heracles. King Eurystheus has denied him the completion of yet another labour. Heracles is in Tyrants and is about to face his sixth labour. For labour number six, the impossible task that our hero has been told to complete is to clear out a flock of birds. Unsurprisingly, these are no ordinary birds, and theirs is no ordinary flock. The animals are sharp-clawed, sharp-winged, and sharp-beaked. Their bodies are that of bronze, and they are sacred to the god of war, Ares. Nest in Phalus in the region of Arcadia, their number is countless. The birds are flocked to the Stymphalian marshlands, which Iphicrates engorged when besieging Stymphalus. In these wetlands, beside a river of the same name, they have bred to their ridiculous number. From time to time, these monstrous birds take flight and scour the landscape, killing men with their razor-like wings and then eating them. They have the ability to throw their sharp metal feathers at their prey, and as they fly overhead, they expel poisonous excrement, which kills all crops beneath. The Stymphalian birds are the size of cranes, and their beaks are capable of piercing the most hardened metallic breastplate. It is said that they also breed in the Arabian desert, causing more trouble there than lions. The people of the desert have learned the hard way to wear plated wooden curiouses, which entangle the beaks of these horrors. Heracles arrives beside the marshland. The marsh sits at the centre of a thick woodland, and is overlooked by Mount Kilini. In all directions, our hero sees a sheer mass of deadly birds. They swarm and they flock in a mess of shining bronze. Heracles lifts his bow and makes the fire at them one by one, but finds there is simply too many of them to handle in this manner. He makes for the marshy waters and discovers that it is both too fluid to walk upon and yet too solid to row a boat through. Heracles is stuck for a solution and ponders for a short while for a method of completing his task. Beside our troubled hero suddenly appears the goddess of wisdom, Athena. She approaches Heracles and holds forth a pair of shining brass crotala, kind of like castanets. These crotala were created by the god of the forge, Hephaestus. Heracles takes the crotala in his hands and immediately makes his way to Mount Kilini. He steps to a cliff face in the direction of the swarming flock of birds, raises his crotala in the air and slams them together. With shock and terror, all of the birds immediately take flight, zooming into the sky fearful for their lives. As they swirl in front of Heracles, our hero takes shots at their number with his bow, killing a large handful of them as they try to flee from him. A large number of the birds fly to the Isle of Ares in the Black Sea, where years from now, the Argonauts will eventually encounter them. It is said in one interpretation that the Stymphalian birds were not animals, but women. In this version, they were the children of Ornus and Stymphalus, and killed by our hero for their lack of hospitality. In the Stymphalian temple of Artemis, these women are represented as birds, and behind the temple are depictions of maidens with bird feet. It is also highly suggested from this that the birds were sacred to Artemis, not Ares. Related to this version, Heracles scaring away the birds with his crotala is very similar to an ancient Greek healing custom, and the labour was perhaps inspired by this custom. Healers would expel the demons which cause fevers by shaking castanets or rattles over those afflicted. In ancient Greece, the fever demons were normally represented as bird-legged sirens, and Artemis had a particular gift for curing or inflicting fevers. Heracles collects some of the fallen birds and strings them together. He journeys back to King Eurystheus to present them as evidence of another labour completed. The seventh labour of Heracles is about to begin. That's it, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing to our channel. It really means a lot to us. Have anything to share about Heracles and his labours? Leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next episode. Toodles!